what's going on everybody welcome for the first time or back to another dlj works video and we're going to talk about what i think is one of the the most powerful features that appears to be on you screen if you use it in a very creative and imaginative way and that is going to be the arthur's feature that we see here underneath the content section on your you screen dashboard now why would i say that this is you know it, it may not be the most powerful but it is a very powerful feature for as simple as it is and i'm going to explain why here in a second first off what i want to show you is you see a very textual all right you have to bear with me because it's not the pictures that's going to matter right now but the information at hand at this moment and i'm going to go in detail why you screen authors really you can really catapult your membership business whatever you're trying to do on your you screen platform so let's look at it before we look at that slide let's go ahead and let's look at the authors I, you see that i have like i'm on my demo account so you can see that i have multiple pieces of content and throughout my little uh let me go to it throughout my little course on gumroad here so if i go to dljworks.com forward slash gumroad all right on my little you screen course okay i actually have a place where I actually go in depth and I talk about the Arthur component and how to act that that's actually used and making sure that I explain that thoroughly. But what I did not talk about in this course is the fact that when you actually create an Arthur, there are multiple ways that you can actually utilize this to really bring in a lot more revenue for your platform if you treat it like a Netflix or a Hulu. So on my demo account, I created this person named Sandy Miller, just a fictional person, right? So if I go back to videos and we look at the uh, the videos I actually featured Sandy on because it's not going to tell you here. And it's very simple to add a new Arthur. You just go to add new and you just enter some simple information, Arthur name, bio, upload image, and then just say here, I'm just going to actually delete this Arthur because we're not creating anybody right now. But it's very simple to actually create one. Okay. So. In this simplicity, what does this all mean? Because there's nothing complicated about this. And what am I actually talking about? So I have Sandy Miller created here. If I go to videos, and I can't remember which video I assigned to Sandy Miller. I think it was Chicago, the series. Um, so let me go to just edit on this. Okay, I can't remember that which series I added her to. But the fact is, is that when you start going down to your appearance, I think, okay, and you go to choose Arthur. If I was to assign Sandy Miller to this video and say that this was her series that she created and I allowed her to leverage my audience to be on this. I mean, this is her series. and I allow her to leverage my audience to expose her series to that audience. That's going to be a win win for Sandy and myself. And now I'm going to explain how this actually works. OK, select at least one category. OK, all right. And I'm going to hit save. OK. So everything on you screen is very simple when you're doing this, but this is so powerful. And let's now go over here to my little text presentation. So as I said in the beginning, if you treat your platform like a Netflix or Hulu, think about on Netflix, all the content that's there. A lot of the Netflix, yes, there's ne there's Netflix originals. All right. There's a lot of Netflix originals that exist, but they also license and leverage other people's content to be on a platforms based on contractual negotiations percentages all those things but netflix is making a killing off of that content and also paying those people who are there using the, the licensed content that they're using they're also getting a, you know a percentage of that that profitable pie as well if you if you may have it so if you come in there with that same mindset you can use the arthur's feature to also bring in other people's content you know off of their platform and feature it on your use screen account it depending on your your own subscriber count your audience level prices all that other stuff so i'm gonna give you a sample here in terms of how this works all right so a sample scenario goes like this dlj works had a previous combined following of about 500,000 followers between instagram and youtube i don't really have that type of following now but just bear with me follow along with this this whole goal so of those 500,000, 100,000 became true DLJ Works You Screen subscribers. So, out of the 500,000 people that I had between Instagram and YouTube, maybe 250 on YouTube subscribers and then 250 on Instagram followers, you know, out of the, that number, 100,000 actually paid to become You Screen You Screen subscribers to get access to my technology content, exclusive access, all right, behind the paywall. 
So now if I have a monthly membership of three dollars and ninety nine cents for those hundred thousand that are, you know, actually paying me to view all the content I have behind my Uscreen account, that's three hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars a month. All right. That I'm making before the fees and taxes. So we're not going to worry about all the subtractions, the what you owe and, and taxes or whatever else. We're, we're just going we're using our imagination. We're having fun right now. So this is something I'm very excited about because it's so much opportunity that people may or may not know about. But I wanted to expose that because with all the clients I've been talking to, this conversation has come up multiple times, you know, and I've gotten other people excited. So I, in general, wanted to get you excited as well. Who's watching this video. So let's say Donna is an up and coming tech creator who has a small following on YouTube, but she wants to get into paid memberships early outside of Patreon. So let's say Donna is an early YouTube tech creator and she knows she got into the space because of DLJ works. And maybe the, she's made over like she spent a year on YouTube and she only has 300 subscribers and she sees that there is some benefit, but she wants she doesn't want to wait on YouTube AdSense to kick in. She wants to get in and she wants to get into the ground early in terms of really leveraging a small audience that she's already building, but she needs more people. So she needs to leverage something else. So um, but she so she wants to get into this outside of Patreon. So now she needs to leverage an audience and knows DLJ Works has a high subscriber base. So outside of you screen, DLJ Works and Donna work out a deal and contract where she could put her courses on my you screen where I receive a percentage for her sales and I allow her to sign up my subscribers to her email list and subscribe to her YouTube channel, which is increasing her social following and also her mailing list as well. You know, um, now you may ask the question, I want to stop here. Because you may ask the question, well, well, what what happens if they leave, you know, your your platform, Deshaun or the DLJ Works, to just go to her channel? She's stealing people off of it. That's that's a very scarce mindset way of thinking about it. Because if I'm doing my job and I'm actually creating the content that's necessary and that's still entertaining, the same content that my subscribers already know and love, they'll pay not only for my subscriber base. But if Donna's doing what she needs to do and she's continuing to put out really good content that people are, are you know, uh, not leaving, but they're joining on what she's doing, they'll also pay for her content as well. Think about it. We're paying multiple subscription services for different platforms because they have content that we actually want to watch. Like I have an HBO Max, you know, subscription service because they have a bunch of shows on there that I like. They have the whole DC brand that I actually know, love and enjoy. And I still got my Netflix account because the Netflix originals just keep getting better and better. They have certain shows on there that I haven't seen in a while that I want to keep a hold of. So they're going to you're going to continue to pay for that content if it's definitely content that you are loving right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how that is. So you want to have a, an abundance mindset when it actually comes to this this method, this process. You don't want to sit up here and think that people are going to like, you know, abandon ship and just, you know, leave or whatnot. Yeah, if, if you're not doing what you're going, if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to be losing subscribers anyway. That's the bottom line. So now it's a win-win because Donna brings me additional content that I didn't have to work to create and I receive more money based off of her efforts and we both win in the process. So that is the whole key in terms of utilizing the let's go back utilizing the Arthur's feature so on my DLJ works demo account we see that I have Sandy Miller as an author she brings me Chicago the series I didn't have to make this series she bought it as a uh, episodic level that she sells that I can actually utilize and sell this individually because if I go let me go to edit here I think I got this in a collection so let me see here let me go to collections so I have this here as a collection, as a show series. So what I can do is I can actually go to pricing and I, I can make this, I can either make it free for everybody as, some, as a way to bring more subscribers in, they watch her content or I can require access. I can either make this a whole new one-time sell and I'm going to show you that down here. So I can sell this whole series for like, people can actually watch this for $4.99, all right? And there should be a way that you can actually do a single cell image on here, but we don't want to do this. Um, I could just, we'll just select for the year because I really want this to be a single cell, but there is a way that you can actually do 
uh, a single purchase if you so choose to on here. All right. So and we can make this a single sale purchase if they wanted to. But upon people actually coming to my you screen account based on her series, I can also entice them and say, hey, you know, instead of actually paying just this one time fee for this series right here, why don't you go ahead and pay a monthly fee and you'll get access not only to uh, Sandy Miller's content, her Chicago series, but you also get access to all this this backlog of stuff and other new things that we're also creating on this channel. And then they begin to check out what else I'm offering and they get, you know, we get them hook, line and sinker. They're they're engaged. They're addicted to the content and boom, they become monthly subscribers. And that, that's how that works. So you have to have plans in place. Uh, so I need to get off of this. So I don't want to do that. So, oh, okay. Enable one time purchase. All right. Or you can even do a rental. All right. There we go. We can do that one four ninety nine. So I chose the wrong thing. My bad here. So we want to do one time purchase or they could do a rental at two ninety nine. But really, the plan is we want them to get on the um, four ninety nine monthly membership here. All right. So if this person decides to if I wanted to use her subscription as a uh, I don't want to use the word bait, but we'll use it for the sake of this conversation. But we want to use it as as bait conversation, introductory con content that would get the person kind of hooked into this a trial run so they can actually kind of get a taste of what my platform is about then that's what we're going to do so uh so this is not this is something that you can really lay out a plan for and i talk about this in all my previous videos that when you're starting a, a streaming platform either on uscreen or vimeo ott this is something you have to lay out and kind of plan long term in the future so you can figure out how you can actually keep content coming in because if you're doing this by yourself you're making content on your own and you're managing all this that's going to become overwhelming and you may want to start working out deals with maybe smaller creators who may have a series that you can actually work something out and let them know that hey i got this audience base i'm making this much money per month already based off the content i've done i'll be able to offer this to you as a smaller creator if you bring this series onto your my platform and we'll be able to do that let's just say for example HBO Max has Silicon Valley. Let me put that, pull that up. So Silicon Valley, if you don't know what that looks like. So we want to go here. So HBO Max has Silicon Valley. It, you know, it, it's on there. But let's say, for example, if I was starting a, let's imagine if my platform was, let me go to my actual page so y'all can actually see this and you'll be able to picture this more carefully. So let's, let's say, for example, if this platform was a technology entertainment platform, all I did was try to get just create, you know, technology based content, programmer, comedy series, all that stuff, um, content for web designers and developers, designer skits, all that. All right. It was just focused on making entertaining bits about the technology industry from Google to Apple. And now we got, you know, that Uber movie that's out on Peacock. So let's just say if I wanted to just make an only tech entertainment series and just wanted to now begin to leverage shows such as Silicon Valley onto that platform, I could work out a deal with maybe HBO Max or whoever I need to talk to. And maybe I can license their content to come onto my platform and then we now have like content that will be worth people coming to pay their monthly fee over because not only do they get to binge, maybe they hate HBO Max, and not only do they get to binge their favorite series, Silicon Valley, on my platform, but now they have access to a more niche market of technology entertainment that that has similar content like Silicon Valley. So if you, I'm sorry if I'm loud or you can tell I'm pretty excited about this, but this is something I've been really thinking about and I really want to put on people's minds because you really need a long-term strategy and a plan on how you're going to keep subscribers, your subscribers. All right. But with the options, the, the simplicity of you screen, you get to make pricing uh, any kind of way that you can. And you could target specific content to be a single purchase to be a rental, to be whatever it is that you actually need. If you enable one-time purchase, you enable a rental price and you can lead and use that as a, as a top of the sales funnel to get people to come into and eventually get that monthly subscription fee. So that way you can currently, you can constantly get a recurring revenue each month for them being onto your platform. So this is something that I just wanted to put on your mind and think about 
and some other bullet points I think I talked to just in the process of talking about this, but let me cover it one more time. So charge other creators or work for a deal uh, for content sharing, which is what I talked about an example with the Silicon Valley. Uh, allow other creators to leverage your audience and you screen. You can just make more money this way. So not only will you be, you know, making a, that $399,000 a month based off of the content you already created, but you bring other people on. And that's just going to add constant money on top of that $399,000 a month if you do it this way. Now, this is you, this is thinking outside the box and just doing something outside of you screen. Actually, one of the things that I actually mentioned here, and I want to cover real fast, is that you need to work out a, con a contractual agreement. All right, yeah, this isn't something that you know you screen authorizes. This is just the technology. This is just the software as a service platform that's giving you the opportunity to do this. But this is all taking place outside of the computer where you're talking to these individual creators. You create the actual author account for them, and you upload the, you upload their content, and then from there y'all work on the marketing and, and the strategy from that, and see how it's going to work. And Uscreen also gives you those tools in terms of uh, marketing and, and certain other things and stuff that will allow you to better promote your platform to people, better promote those subscription services. So you get all the tools here that you need, but all this takes place outside of you screen outside of the computer y'all work on it together one of the things i will say lastly is that when it comes to um arthur's i think this this may be a feature to come up like maybe later on i'm not really sure but it was asked to me if, if you create an arthur account for somebody else will they be able to get a login and be able to sign up on their own be able to sign in and upload content uh free will based on certain authority or, or certain permissions on the back end of you screen and i'm not sure if you if you can do that right now if you create an arthur's account you still have to be the one to manage and upload their content for them so this isn't like wordpress wordpress as far as i know right now you can create different user profiles and and and, and um, assign them certain roles such as administrator author contributor commenter or whatever the case may be Right now, I don't think really think that's a feature here on Uscreen. And for those who are watching, maybe Rob Balasabas or even PJ um, Ty himself, if he's watching this and I'm, I'm wrong on that, please correct me. But or put it in the comments if I am wrong. But right now, you will have to actually create the Arthur's account. If you're the administrator, you're their account holder and you're going to have to actually upload their content for them and take care of all that information and and that sort of thing or you can hire out maybe a, a exec, a, an executive assistant to manage this platform and do whatever it is that needs to be done um, for you screen so so that's going to be it for this video i think i covered everything that needs to be covered if you have not checked out the you screen quick start course this will help you out from a to z set up your platform in a way that you won't have to sit up here and think about all the extra nuances to figure to figure out the best way from putting your content up, configuring it on the back end. This course is going to answer those questions for you indefinitely. And if you haven't tried Uscreen and you're just watching this video out of curiosity and you actually need, you're actually interested in jumping into the streaming game, then there is an affiliate link in the description below for you to go ahead and get started. Here go to prices. This is for um, yearly $79 a month, but it's really if you pay for a year or whatnot. If I switch this off, $99 a month, $199 a month. You have to contact Uscreen for a uh, plus plan. But great system. I, I can't, man, I, I cannot recommend this platform enough to people right now. I love Uscreen and I think you will love it as well. So I, I really hope I've really given you a lot of ideas and thoughts in regards to how to best utilize this platform. Watch some of my other videos on there and continue to watch the next video that you see regarding Uscreen. And I will see y'all in the next video. God bless y'all.